keeping the flush port medial. Advance the bifurcated delivery system over the 035 guide wire until you hear it click. This transforms the introducer and the bifurcated delivery system into a single unit. Keeping the bifurcated delivery system handle stationary, advance the inner core under fluoro. This motion advances the bifurcated stent graft through the introducer sheath. Continue to advance the inner core until the base of the radiopaque tip is aligned with the RO marker band of the introducer sheath. Stop advancement at this point and check the orientation of the contralateral limb wire. Advance the delivery system up into the aorta until the limbs are above the aortic bifurcation and verify the contralateral limb orientation indicated by the RO marker. Pin the inner core and pull back on the delivery system handle. This motion exposes the covered stent graft. Continue pulling the delivery system handle until the end of the introducer sheath is just below the aortic bifurcation. Pin the delivery system handle and pull back on the inner core. This motion seats the bifurcated stent graft on the native aortic bifurcation. Remove the floppy tip from the contralateral limb wire and advance an 014 guide wire through the hollow center of the contralateral limb wire. Continue advancing the wire until it is in the thoracic aorta. To deploy the main body, twist and pull the control cord handle. If necessary, you can stop at any point to reposition the stent graft. To begin deployment of the ipsilateral limb, pin the delivery system handle and pull back on the inner core until the radiopaque tip is just above the bifurcation. To complete the deployment, pin the inner core and pull back on the delivery system handle. While continuing to pin the delivery system handle, pull back on the inner core until it stops. Release the bifurcated delivery system and then retract. Upon removal, tighten the hemostasis valve. Over the 035 guide wire, place the single lumen dilator. Maintaining the position of the introducer sheath, loosen the hemostasis valve and then insert the dilator fully into the introducer sheath. Advance the introducer sheath until the radiopaque marker is approximately at the renal arteries. Now remove the dilator and close the hemostasis valve. To finish deployment of the bifurcated stent graft, deploy the contralateral limb by pulling on the contralateral limb wire while maintaining 014 guide wire access. Continue pulling on the contralateral limb wire until the sleeve or limb cover exits the 9 French sheath. 